in Texas look behind you Cause that's where the Rangers gonna be Some exciting work from the, uh, the Suns boys. Quick play by the Crows to Dangerfield now. And this is one of the things we spoke about uh, pre-game. The ability of the Suns to hold the ball in their 50. Over the back it comes. Callanan first to it. And oh. again, a loose man for Adelaide just sitting on his own. This time it's Petrenko. Easy as you like. Over the top. One to Tippett. One to Walker. Two to the Crows. And just transition from uh, deep defence uh, for the Adelaide Crows is really good. But we need to have a look at how Petrenko got out with so much space. We've seen on two occasions now that probably hard work into that space and just a lack of awareness for the Suns defenders to know where their man is. And I would have thought that Petrenko's probably come out of the midfield no and doubt. snuck forward. So just need to be a bit more accountable to Suns midfielders. <laughs> Season, but he used his bulk to hold the direct opponent out so John Cock took an easy mark. Again, it's a similar situation. This time the ball stays in play. Thompson trying to measure it beautifully to Van Berlo. Oh, Little nice. give to Vince was class. Great Vince, kick. And that's class. That's brilliant from Vince. Walker almost let him down. He juggles it. Should be bread and butter for Sloan. No, Walker's no. going to fancy himself to get home from outside 50. Long kick from Walker. Good enough. He's got his second, first goal of the second quarter to Adelaide. A very quick transition, well, great run and set up from Van Berlo and the beautiful pass into uh, Walker from Vince. That's the, all these hands just set, set the run up, the 450 entry up, but that was a fantastic pass. And I think Walker had a few options here. I thought Sloan might have been an option as we see running to the in the background there, but uh, just blazed away and kicked a very good goal. So that breeze that is there, probably sheltered by the stand at that end of the ground. Well, the rest... Very happy halfway through his first game. Yeah, there's six goals up and Sloan's trying to make it seven. He heads in the Jacobs direction. Can he recover in time? Maybe not. Oh, he could take that through then. Well, it... Amazing players aren't totally clear on that rule. I don't know yet. the rule. He was under pressure. Callan around the corner. Brennan. And they're lucky to get away with that Gold Coast. The kick from Brennan oh, is in the a... middle. Dangerous kick. Doughty. Tate. He did well to help out there, but Hall caught. Couldn't get his handball free. And the Gold Coast are just trying to hold it up here, and Adelaide want to keep it moving. Henderson gets it from Paul Pleasure, and off goes Henderson. Again, the top of the square is the discipline kick. They've done it a few times, and Walker is there this time. Wow. Fantastic position of the kick, and it was elevated enough for someone like Walker to come in to there and take a very nice mark over the back of one of the Suns' uh, defenders, but great grab. Got to go back to Jared Brennan, though. Look, yeah. Jared, Jared Brennan's a senior player, and it was a lazy, lair-rising kick out of defence, and it doesn't hit the target, and it's intercepted. You've got to be better than a senior player than that. It's like I don't care what I do with the ball and put my teammate under pressure without any thought process. The key forwards for the Crows are sending a message to the competition. Tippett's got four. Walker's got three. Again, it's uh, disposal disposal efficiency is killing the Suns out of the back line. And this one, Shorey. It, it just, now look, around the corner, Tippett, what happens there? That, you know, you've got to be smarter than that. You're out of defence, you know you're going to pay a price. And then Jared Harbrow should go to Jared Brennan and say, hey, mate, we're in defence together. You just got me a knee in the back because you didn't care what you did with the ball and you haven't got enough care for your teammates. Very disciplined kicking from Adelaide what? inside their Ford 50. They've, time and time again, they've gone to the top of the square and it's paying dividends for them. Margin out to 42. Still in the hands of the train. He's going to take him a few minutes to uh, get settled. But as we're back on the wing now, Hall, well, he came from a long way, never got close to it. Paul Pleasure got it from Jacobs to Thompson. Paul Pleasure, just the handball a little bit low from Thompson, but wants it back. 
lightning hands to get it to Sloan. That was quick reflex. Vince made a meal of it, dived on it. Can he dive on him? Oh, gee, they've just been run a couple of times. Oh, oh, Sloan oh, wanted to go. One. Got away with that one. Well, I just thought if the player took it on, the umpire nearly calls it advantage. Well, oh, there was a big push oh. there. Lynch pushed Brennan into the contest. Oh, Here's pass. Petrenko oh, with a brilliant pass to Walker. He'll go back and kick his fourth. And when we thought it was going to be all Kurt Tippett kicking five and six, it may well be this man. Absolutely. What great use of the outside of the right boot for Petrenko just to hit uh, the right spot. Walker goal. Four goals to Taylor Walker. And one for the Crows there against the run. Rushing it through. Campbell Brown's just uh, loitering around the forward line, looking quite dangerous, but they've got to capitalise on these opportunities, as you said, uh, Matty. The uh, Crows have kicked the last two goals, but the Suns have had plenty of the ball, just critical turnovers are killing them at the moment. Long kick, Smith at the back, Jacobs at the front. Swallow crumbs it. Couldn't be taken by Hunt. Riscatelli shoulders up. Did well to get it to Swallow. Then turned to Brennan. One hand grabs it. One foot. Who knows where it's going again. And unfortunately for Suns fans, he's let them down there. But they might win it back here. Throw. Thompson to take the uh, free kick. And he's up to uh, his 28th disposal. The walker's wide. He's got 50 metres of space. And Dangerfield's running for him. He either takes Dangerfield on the chest or has a ping himself. Oh, he wants to have a go from 60 metres out. He wants goal number five. And why not do it when you can kick like that? Five goals to Taylor Walker. Well, you cannot be critical of him if he kicked the goal. But if that didn't go through, I tell you what, Patrick Dangerfield was 30 metres clear. And we'll probably a see a good look here. here. Now, Patrick Dangerfield, we can see right now running in the 50. His man cannot go with him. He's kicked that from... 60, 60, 60 metres out. If that didn't go through, I tell you, the coach might have just sent a little mess. But you kick it, you take it on, and you cannot criticise it. He like players the back themselves, but that's the extreme. <laughs> that's how you kick the ball on the run, though. Oh, that was a beautiful good. kick yeah. from uh, outside 60 metres. But... Massive danger signs for the Western Bulldogs. We've played 24 minutes, and for the Dogs... 24 goalless minutes. Boyd tried to get a handball that was going to allow the clearance. Didn't hit a target. Now Adelaide knock it all the way to half forward. Cowman shoots it out. Vince looks up. He's got options of plenty. One of them tipping. He marks on 50 and he might be within range. That's too big for him. If we look at time in forward half there, Adelaide 60. She's got on it, Derm. And Walker marks on the line. And that percentage goes up even more now, up to 70% time in forward half in this quarter for Adelaide. It's being pushed around on the angle here. He claims he marked it in the goal square, which for those that have been new to the game or joined it from up north in recent times, if you take a mark in the goal square, you get your kick at goal from directly out. That's an overall. Swings him back to where he was. A four goal to nothing start for Adelaide. Well, he's had a very productive couple of minutes. Let's have a look at this. Where's his feet when he first marks it? Yeah, did he secure it on the outside of the square, though? It bobbled. Well, technically, if that Still line bobbling. was the boundary line, he wouldn't be paid the mark. It would be a throw-in. Yeah. He'd be outside the boundary when he completed the mark. Gee, I'll tell you what, solid body. When you see Markovic trying to thrust into him, he doesn't budge. Two minutes to quarter time, and Taylor Walker letting everybody know he's yeah. up and about. Griffin, Cooney, these guys, they need to start taking some risks by foot. Can't just play safe now. Wide ball, Mints in the target. Off hands, Riley. Has John Cock in support. Puts it back inside, 50 but it's wide. Mark of it, clever. I know it's only, what... Four points, Kingy, but at ground level, does it feel like it's swinging back in Adelaide's favour just to hang on or claw out one more goal? It does. Around the contest, they've really lifted. They're tougher at the ball at this stage. The Dogs are trying to do it by foot. The Crows are doing it with endeavour and contested work. Griffin wobbles one outside, 50. Cooney gets there, collects. 
Wanted Jakira, but he missed him. McKay finds Smith too far out to score. Adelaide by four. They want to add to it. Walker, full forward, two to beat. Peels back, kicks a goal, and throws it to Murph. They lead by ten. He kicks a lot of crumbing goals. I said that before. Ones that hit the deck, he recovers quickly, he sneaks back to goal. He's had two shots like that in the last couple of minutes. One that he, he put through the points and he gets full reward for that one. And we'll see here, Brian Lake, as he does so well, gets back this time. Let the ball over the back, needed to mark that, bring it forward as everyone knows. Taylor Walker able to capitalise and kick this one. It might have been one cage that Robert Murphy could regret rattling. And Petrenko getting into oh. Brian Lake. It's in it, but it's 12 points the margin with three minutes left. Another snapshot at goal from a key forward, Walker. It's freakish how many times he gets it off the deck. It's lived up to all expectations, this one. Picking from the back pocket. Boyd needs to go. Use his body illegally. I think he's tired. He's a little spent. Yeah. Massive third quarter. He's only had the ball four times in this final quarter. Given everything he's got, though. Tip it in the pocket. Too good. Market it's tiring, too. And 30 seconds off the clock is almost as good as a score right now. A behind will do it for Adelaide, you'd think. Walker! Got it! The Adelaide Crows will win a ripper at Amy Stadium in front of a full house. First home game of the year. Hargraves hurt. Time off call. Well, he, he landed against the against the uh, goalpost, so he's obviously marked it in the square. And point blank range to an almighty roar. Well, Adelaide have been able to take control through the middle of the ground in this quarter. Scotty Thompson in his 200th has been fantastic all night, actually, but. Also in this last quarter with eight disposals, 34 for the game. Taylor Walker with a couple of goals as well in this quarter. Three goals, four for the game. But it's been through the middle of the ground that they've been able to take control back in this contest. A huge smile from Brenton Sanderson. That's where the Rangers going to be.